Today, on the eve of Veterans Day, a 99-year-old Filipino man received a long-overdue medal for his service to the United States in World War II. ABC 7 News reporter Jonathan Bloom explains his story is a remarkable one of survival and bravery, but he's not the only one who's waited this long to be recognized. I have a very special presentation to make to you. It's not every day a member of Congress makes a house call. Then again, it's not every day you run across a man like Amato Ante. Among his many virtues... Longevity. Longevity. 99 years old. You smile when you say that. <laughs> Ante has survived more than just a long life. He's one of the Filipinos who fought alongside American forces in World War II. Together, our fighters ensured that freedom would triumph. At a ceremony on Capitol Hill, Congress honored those veterans. It is the highest civilian honor that this body can bestow. The Congressional Gold Medal. Congresswoman Jackie Speer delivered antis in person. Thank you. Thank you. You are a great American hero. And a humble one at that. Anti survived what's known as the Bataan Death March. Thousands of prisoners forced to walk more than 60 miles. Fourth or fifth day of the march, she had uh, contact malaria, as well as um, his feet were swelling. Fearing he'd be killed by Japanese soldiers, he took his one chance to escape. To escape, you have to be brave. You have to be brave. He hid in a ditch until nightfall when locals rescued him. People. In the area, they help. Antis among a number of Filipino veterans, all in their 90s, who are finally getting a long overdue honor. But Congresswoman Spears says the honor is only the beginning of what the U.S. owes those veterans. I'm sure that their widows and those veterans still alive would much prefer to have the veterans' benefits that they were promised. President Roosevelt promised them full veterans' benefits, but President Truman signed a law that took them away. Now Spears is part of a movement to reinstate benefits for the Filipinos who became American patriots. In his heart. He'll always serve the U.S. In San Francisco, Jonathan Bloom, ABC 7 News.